Senator Robin Padilla at ilang mababagsik na political analyst tinambanan ang isang tambaloslos na puno ng kaguluhan at pang-uuto-uto sa taong bayan dahil sa lumalaking tensyon sa isyo ng People's Initiative. Malalaking bulgaran na bumulagda sa publiko ukol sa People's Initiative maipasalang ang Charter Change Resolution tinira ng mga political analyst. Magandang araw bayan, magandang araw Pilipinas! Panibagong araw na naman at mara na naman tayong pag-uusapan. Ngunit bago ang lahat, kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa aming channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell para mas maging updated ka sa mga newly released naming videos. Senador na si Robin Padilla at isang respetadong political analyst ay matapang na bumangga sa mga miyembro ng kongreso na tinatawag nilang Tambaloslos dahil sa mga alegasyong panggagansyo sa taong bayan. Ayon sa kanila, ang mga ito ay nagsasagawa ng operasyon na nagpapapirma ng isang tinatawag na waiver sa mga mamamayan. Sa bawat pirma, umano'y may katumbas na isandaang pesos. Ang layunin ng operasyong ito ay upang maipasa ang isang batas na naglalayong baguhin ang kasalukuyang saligang batas o ang tinatawag na charter change. Ang alegasyong ito ay nagdulot ng malaking alangas nga sa publiko. Marami ang nagpahayag ng kanilang saloobin at karamihan ay hindi pabor sa ginagawang ito ng ilang miyembro ng Kongreso. Naniniwala si Senador Padilla at ang political analyst na ito ay isang malaking insulto at pagyurak sa karapatan ng bawat Pilipino. Ayon pa sa kanila, ito ay isang malinaw na pag-abuso sa kapangyarihan at dapat na itigil agad. Samantala narito ang full report at ang maanghang na pahayag ng isang political analyst. Senator Robin Padilla has recently spoken out against the misuse of the People's Initiative for Charter Change, Chacha, for personal political gains. As the chairman of the Senate Committee on Constitutional Amendments and Revision of Codes, Padilla emphasized the sacredness of the People's Initiative, asserting that it should not be exploited by politicians for their ambitions. He criticized certain public officials who are allegedly manipulating the process by buying signatures and misleading people into supporting constitutional amendments that serve their interests. Padilla highlighted the importance of discussing the People's Initiative thoroughly, ensuring it remains a pure expression of the people's will and is not twisted to fit political agendas. In a Facebook post, he also pointed out the misuse of social services like the assistance to individuals in crisis situation, AICS, and tulong panghanap buhay para sa ating displaced, disadvantaged workers, TUPAD, by political figures for their gain. He urged for proper adherence to the law, noting that such programs should not be influenced by politicians. The senator further stressed that only the Filipino people can bring about genuine changes in the system for the country's betterment. His call for support of the People's Initiative reflects his commitment to a democratic process free from political manipulation. Sa mga curious or di alam bakit nag-iikot sila magpapirma, it's because they need 12% of registered voters to sign the petition para mabago ang constitution. 3% lang ng registered voters ang kailangan bawat district para masabi na, 
widespread and substantial support for charter change. This is not fair because hindi naman inexplain ng mga pe politiko ang charge sa mga tao. The inexplain, for example, na in one of the amendments, mawawala ng power ang Senate kontra hin ang Kongreso. At pagwala ng kontra kay Tamba, dahil he only needs the votes of two-thirds of representatives and that includes just 16 senators who will forever be rendered useless, kasi voting jointly na sila, wala na tayong checks and balances. What Tamba wants, Tamba gets. And this is the gateway to power forever. If we want change, we need to change the constitution via something like a Cancun constitutional convention, which assures pinag-isipan at pinagdebatihan ng maayos ng mga may. Alam. Dapat alam natin sino-sino ang mga delegates making up the body that will change the constitution, admin, opposition, lawyers, etc., yung alam ang ginagawa nila. Hindi si Aling Merits na panangkakuha ng ayuda at si Barangay Chairman na gusto maghari Harian for the next five years. Reminder sa mga congressmen. Sa mga congressman na nagpapauto, remember dalawang libot dalawang putlima na next year. You will probably elect a new House Speaker after the midterm elections. Ang presidente is hanggang 2028 lang. His power only rests on being the president's cousin. There is no political ascension for someone so unliked and couldn't even win a national post on his own and is lowest on all surveys. So wag nyo iangkla ang political future nyo dahil dito. You will face the consequences of your actions and betrayal to the Filipino kasi marami na ang nagre-reklamo sa devious ways na pagpapapirma nyo sa People's Initiative, na yan. Huwag kayong traidor, nota tamba chocha. Anong masasabi niyo ako rito, mga kababayan? Just comment it down below sa comment section and give a massive thumbs up kung nagustuhan mo ang paksang ating tinalakay. At huwag kalilimutang mag-subscribe sa channel na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong walang sawang panonood.